The day has arrived. A little bit heavy. Yes, today is that day. Guys, it's the day when I'll finally show you all the progress of my drawing since I was little. Since I was still a little girl. Actually, I collected some drawings of when I was little that stayed back around that date back around the age range of 6, 16 years old. So let's say 10 years of evolution in these drawings that I have skillfully turned over in order to be able to show them to you, let's say, from the oldest to the most recent. I put them here, so it's a bit of time that I don't see these drawings, I am warning you. So I could be also surprised by what I might find inside as well. Let's start with the first one, which I can already see it's neatly lined. Are you ready? It's not just one drawing, but it's a collection. It's been pinned, so exactly. Master Rabbit and the Lost Time. Maybe it's the first comic I ever made. Well, what can I say? I would like to show it to you. You might like it too much. Actually, I've already thought about making another video about Master Rabbit and the Lost Time. So I'll just show you the first board. Just a glimpse to create some suspense. But then I'll make a whole other video dedicated to this thing. So you'll see, you'll see. One day at the time, I didn't even know what the reading direction of comics was. So this is all written wrong. Like what kind of disaster? Master Rabbit, a disaster has happened. Time has disappeared. Here. <laughs> By the way, notice the lion's mouth, <laughs> which is practically what is it like? A crab? What has a mouth like that? Like an ant, right? I don't know. Never mind. Okay, so you just saw Master Rabbit and the Lost Time, or rather, you have seen the trailer. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, here, in my opinion, we were already well over six years old. Here, I had already acquired some writing skills. I had drawn Donald Duck. Well, Donald Duck, okay, I can't explain some things. Oh, here, here, this is already nice. This is nice. Ah, a very important moment has come of which I am very proud because I, in my classroom, I had become the official illustrator of Hamtaro because I drew Hamtaro the way no one else drew it. Then we have Ronfo, then we have Bijou, then we have this. I honestly don't remember what it was called. I passed off Hamtaro drawings as if there were no tomorrow. In fact, we only have four of them here because surely I gave away all the rest. Or maybe if I know myself, I sold them to my classmate. In case, indeed, you were one of those people who said Frafrog, you can tell you've always been talented. Guys, let's always remember Master Rabbit and the Lost Time. Okay, we have a mermaid. This must have been quite painful to make. The tail. Then we have a little bunny. A number of horses scattered inside the image with absolutely no coherence. Then we have this, which in my opinion is uncommentable, just like this. Actually, this is absolutely commentable because even as a child, you can see that I had an innate ability to distribute spaces correctly. In fact, as you can see, the sky, and then here's nothing. Then we have this dog, this one, this. I don't know if this is the right way to see it or this. And I suppose this is a dolphin. And then right away, let's move on to the horse, which had arms that Maurizio Maruso, please move aside. Then there's the race of toy cars. This is because it was the time when I had started watching Korcha. So I made these two drawings. I don't know what this was, but this was 100% Korcha. And by the way, why did she have such different eyes? Here, I forgot to close it. What happened? I recognize this one. The middle school was started, so... Voila! This was at my grandma's house, I remember. This is me doing a handstand. This is my dog. And these were the other two dogs that were at my grandma's house. Now the autobiographical drawings begin. Me running the race of my life and winning while leaving everyone else behind. Me again. Me receiving Christmas gifts with my dog. Then we have, oh, well, these here are school drawings. Greek architecture, I deduce. Oh my goodness, what an eyesore is this? The Divine Comedy. This was another drawing I made during art class. The swallows. By the way, the date, sixth grade. I was in the sixth grade. Other swallows because, well, swallows are always beautiful. Cointillism. These were two characters from a comic book I had invented. I think I lost 10 years just to draw this. Aww. And here begin all the characters of my stories because these were the characters of a story I had written. They were Blake and Jake. Wow, incredible fantasy. But wait, I'm not done yet because then we have Blake and Jake, but grown up this time, no, Jack. Wait, my life is a lie. Blake and Jack. I made a video where I redrew one of my childhood drawings. Maybe you'll remember it. But my OC fan are don't end here. Because after this one, we also have 15-year-old Blake. But he's riding his flying thing with a sword that spits. What the? Whatever. So I was an avid reader of Mickey Mouse. And so this is my second attempt to finally make a comic book with a story that would last a certain number of pages. Totally inspired by Mickey Mouse. Not for nothing. The whole page layout is exactly the same. Even the dialogues are written just like Mickey Mouse would have been written. But then I realized that writing comics was actually quite challenging. So I made sketches of three pages. 
I think two of them. And that's it. By the way, with plenty of mistakes, it will works. Will works with the S. Oh my. Uh, here I discovered the chiaroscuro because I discovered that if you hatch in one direction, then in the other, you could create shadows. And I drew a fish and a parrot. And then I realized maybe it wasn't the case. From here began the phase where I didn't press on the paper when writing with a pencil. So you can't see a thing. Here I discovered Zelda. So it means I was already in eighth grade. This is the beginning of a number of manga drawings in the book that I was writing. That probably will be all the remaining stack of drawings. Here are manga characters. The dog with wings, the sleeping guy, the laughing guy, these two. With the 883 song, you'll see that as we go on, they'll always be in the same pose. Him again. Then we have him wielding a huge sword. Then we have Sasuke. Sasuke is a must, right? These are starting to be quite interesting drawings. Like this map, where I wrote things with a language I invented myself. I mean, this was the whole structure of how I had conceived the tower that rotated with the dragon kennels to climb. There was the step mechanism that if you press the button... Ah, here. Here, Kiaroscuro starts to appear, right? More light than dark, let's say. But since I often drew on school desks, sometimes the drawings I did on the school desks were better than the ones I did on paper. So sometimes I'd say, no, I really want to keep this drawing. And so I'd attach the cell tape on the desk, capture some pencil, and then transfer the tape onto the paper. So I could transfer the drawing I had done on the desk onto paper. In case you want to use this technique, then there's an aerial battle with him about to shoot them in the back. Still from my book, and then we have Jim from Treasure Planet. Finally, someone recognizable. As you can deduce, seventh grade girls. We were all the girls in my class. This one was cute. A nymph coming out of a tree. Birds, waterfall, wow. And then another guy crying. And the guy on the throne. And then this was me. Here he was Michael, the villain, the counterpart of Sasuke in my book. And then there's all of them. Oh God, oh God. But I also studied when I was in school because I made all these drawings at school. Oria. Enough, the camera is dying. No, even more, they never end. You understand now what I meant when I said you should like vary because now, I mean, Oh God, something different. Another comic, another comic. Let's see what this comic will be about. But what will it be about? Huh, about my book, obviously. <laughs> this was shorter because it's not consecutive. There are comic panels of the highlights of the book, like this one here. It's a moment of extreme tension. Look, he's standing behind him. Go away, stop. I never want to see anything related to my book again. Please, enough. And then another obsession came, which was the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh yes, exactly, it's him. It's Frollo. And what else is there? Oh yes, well you must know that I have this obsession that is unexplainable for Claude Frollo. But not only for Claude Frollo, Victor Hugo, the whole universe. So we also have Esmeralda. These two drawings, by the way, I was so obsessed that I did them both traditionally and digitally. In fact, on my channel, you can find the speed drawings of these stuff also in digital. Okay, this was only to test the chiaroscuro that finally became a bit darker than it was before. But, oh, but another comic, and this one is quite substantial as a comic. Look then, there's this and this, six panels, not bad, huh? I could also publish this, six panels, short story, I mean, nothing happens, it's just a flashback that starts from here. How are these panels positioned? More chiaroscuro test. I remember this was a drawing I had done for a tutorial on YouTube. Oh, nice. This was the first time I tried to use Equaline, and I did Nyan Cat. Oh, nice, oh. Well, what could... Could things be over about my book? No, indeed, because here we have the protagonist. Huh. But now, here there was already the YouTube channel. These are documented trials. Voila. Cleo Makeup. My very first portrait. Actually, I had drawn her not because I followed Cleo Makeup. I just wanted her to see the drawing and then spam me. But she never did because she's a filthy person. Just kidding, Cleo. Please don't hate me. Actually, I've harbored resentment for you since then. But I assure you, I absolutely won't seek revenge. <laughs> Then this here was a second attempt. I remember it was some kind of commission. This was a little bird 
This is a manga guy. Here I said to myself, no, I have to start inking. And in fact, we're practically done. Because after that, there's only link left. I also did this for a YouTube video, I remember. You've seen a sort of progression that starts from here from Master Rabbit and the lost time. So in case you still feel like writing comments under the videos, you have so much talent. Wow, I wish I could be as lucky and talented as you. Hey. Well, maybe this video could refute this talent thing a bit. If you want to leave a little comment underneath the video, of course, I'll be happy to read and reply to you, etc. So thank you for watching the video. I send you a greeting, a hug, and an affectionate pat. Bye.